Hi guys, so I hope this lighting is okay. So today I want to review um, the We Are Memory Keepers new precision press or whatever they want to call it. I have the old ones. Um, let me grab them real quick. And I don't know what to do. I should probably sell these. So I have the, the original one. Actually, I think this might have been already a second generation, but it's their, the precision press, right? So you put your stamp and put it in there and you stamp. And then I got all these from HSN. And then HSN offered the new precision press plus, which was just... <laughs> Another gimmick, you can clip things here. You can take that clip off and put the little board that you can then, I don't even know where the, <laughs> is it on here? No. It has um, stamps that you can add on here, like um, like one of those boards where you can just make like a marquee. I don't even know where the stamps are. Darn, I better find those because I was thinking about selling this one. So I'll find the stamps. And then, or you can just put the board back on there so it's just a precision press. And I think it was like $25 or so. Maybe 29 I don't know. So now they have the new one that they came out with just after coming out with the Precision Press Plus. I don't know why they do stuff like this, but I had ordered it because it came with like Christmas stamps and I didn't even get to it. So as you can see, I didn't use it for Christmas, but let me open these up because I don't even know what's in here. I did get this kit on HSN. I think it's funny whenever they have people on there like to review other things, they kind of use the little press. So I guess that's good if they use it and then remind people of that, you know, it's available. So let me open this up. Like I said, this is supposed to be a Christmas set. I can still actually return it, which is cool. With HSN, whenever you buy anything from October into the last day of December, they give you the last day of January to return it if you don't like it or if there's a problem in case it's a gift, you know? So this is the thing. I'll pan out a little bit. The lighting is crazy right now, so I was trying to block that out. But So here's the press itself. And so what's new about it? Um, it doesn't have a hinge anymore. It has, this one comes with two plates, and I'm not sure what that's about, if it's just so that you can line something up and not have to switch back and forth, which is kind of nice, I guess. You can add things to this, you can add things to this, and then just have two plates to work with. But what keeps it straight, supposedly, is that you're gonna go down into these little pegs, right? So you have holes and pegs. And these look like they're about six inches wide. They're a little bit wider than six inches, but you know these little holes cut into that. So it's exactly six inches that you have to work with there. Again, it came with two boards. It has a magnet. It has a rubber mat like that you would stamp into like the back of my Close to My Heart mat. If you guys have seen this on Close to My Heart, it has that little sponginess so that you can stamp on it and get your perfect impression every time. So basically, this one has that rubber mat there. So I guess you can remove it if you want. And when you remove it, this also has, um, just like the old one, it has um, like a little grid built in. Again, six by six. You have that to hold your paper down. If you need that to hold your paper down, one magnet. And there is that. So at the end of these little guys, it has these little rubber pieces and they're kind of soft, so squishy. So as you push down, it'll push down. I, I feel like it still has some give though. I think, I feel like, is this really as precision as you think? I don't know. I guess we're gonna try that out, right? I'll try and make it stamp crooked on purpose just to see if that's a thing. What's in here? It came with a little tower of inks. My kids are asleep, like literally both of my kids are asleep right there, I can see them. That's just kinda cool about this area. If you guys saw my, I didn't do a house tour yet, but I'm in my craft area. Right behind me is my kitchen. To my right is my the stairs and the living room, and then behind the living room, back in other spaces, the dining table, dining room. So I can see them from here. So it comes with this cute little wreath and Christmas stuff, um, little snowman. Maybe we'll try him out just so we can try different things. I don't know what's in there. It looks like there's some kind of, oh, like a background too to the snowman stamp, as you can see that. So maybe we can do like a blue background. I don't know. Interesting. Um, these all look like they have background stamps too. I like this one. And they're made in a way so that you can layer it and you can kind of see where the other thing was. I don't know how to explain that. Can you see that? Because they don't have to do all that. They can just do the tree and you can just line up the tree, you know, that goes on top of the car. So yeah, it's an interesting stamp set. And let me see what we have over here. I also have stencils. I totally forgot what this came for. But so huge stencils. Obviously you're gonna lay them in there. Lots of different styles and some smaller ones. So this is basically all the designs that are on there. Oh, it's I see, so you can pair them up. So like we have these two stencils, but you can do like patterns, right? So that's really nice. 
It's a nice thing. And then this one's stenciling, so you can pattern and layer those over too, so you have your wreath, and then you can put it in the words in the middle, or whatever you want to use it for. So that's kind of cool. And you know what? While I'm here, and I want to just get these things going, I will also review real quick the Rocka Blocks from Crafter's Companion. I've never used these. The only reason I have this is because they were on clearance with some stamp sets on HSN, and I thought, well, now's the time to try it, because literally they were, I think they were like $14 with two stamp sets and these guys. So Crafter's Companion has these Rocka Blocks. They have them in purple. They have them in clear. And supposedly it's going to give you the perfect impression every time. And Sarah always says that whenever she goes to Samp, it does not give her the perfect impression. Sarah Davies, the owner, so it always makes me laugh. I'm like, why she always say that she misses the spot or whatever? But I don't know if you have noticed that. So anyway, you adhere your unmounted stamp, of course. You take the ink to the rock block That's what they always like to show. And then you stamp it this way or this way. So that's probably the quickest thing we can try out first. And then we'll try out this guy. How about that? So let me grab some inks and... We'll try some of these things out. Okay, I'm trying to get that lighting taken care of, but oh well. So this is just a stamp set I just grabbed that was on my desk from close to my heart. I believe this is still on clearance if you're interested in it. It is, you can go to my website, vnacreates.ctmh.com, Z4163. And I'm just gonna grab this little girl because she's adorable. And let's try a rock block Now I wanna see She's actually big enough for the small one, as you can see. And it does have like lines on here so that you can see like the mid, if that helps you line things up. But right now I don't really care. I'm just gonna stamp it. So I'm just gonna put her here. But you do the same thing with the larger one. Just line it up wherever you need it to be. And what's in front of me is Memento ink. So I'll just use that. I always have several different black inks on my desk. So we're gonna stamp this and I'm already, you have to remember to kind of do that curve right so make sure you get in there all around here all over <laughs> everywhere because if you just do it flat you're gonna miss that top part and the bottom part so that's a little bit different and they say just to rock it okay so when you go to put it down you can rock it like from foot to head not bad and I don't have a squishiness here or anything like that it's just there or you can also stamp it backwards right so from the top to the bottom so pretty good I mean it's interesting. I, I don't know if I'll remember to rock it every time I go to use it. I'll have to be um, just me, right? And she says when you get the ink on there, as long as you don't get it on these little ridges, these little feet, you're good. So we'll see. So if you can go from top to bottom. All right. I mean, it's stamped. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's any better or, or not than anything else, right? Just your regular flat stamper. But I was always curious about them. So here they are. Tried it out. You can think about what you think about it. Um, obviously I like it's clear. I like that it's nice and thick here so you can hold it really well. That's the only other thing I would say. So those are pretty basic, but I like it so far. Now let me get, I'm probably going to cut this piece of paper down and we'll use it on the Precision Advanced, Precision Press Advanced. Okay, so sorry about the lighting. We are just going to deal with it. Um, if I close the shades to, um, what's the word? dark because I have my overhead lights on it glow <laughs> it shines off of this thing so it looks even worse so we'll just deal with the way it is so I'm just gonna take a little image so the whole point of these kind of things is that if you mess up your stamp you can stamp it right again in the same spot or if you're making cards that they're all exactly the same right so um, it has some information you know position your project using alignment and pegs uh, you can put your little magnet down put your stamp where you want it you stamp it with the thing pick it up ink it stamp um, Tips and tricks, it says press straight down to get even ink application. The additional ink block, acrylic block, can be used on its own or whatever you want to do. They're also saying that if you want, you can use a tool with or without the mat, obviously, is to put several different images on the one tool so you don't have to keep switching them out. Like, okay, I stamped, let's say the background, okay, stamped. Down here, maybe I have an outline or something else, okay turn it, stamp it. And maybe up here I have the outline. Okay. And then do your outline. And it says, if you're going to do that, um, to make sure you get rid of the foam mat so you don't end up putting ink on your mat. So that's just something to think about. Um, I just have a little image. I'm going to leave the foam mat for now. I'm going to put this piece of paper. I did cut it, fussy cut it. So I'll just put it this way so that this nice even edge is here. I'm going to put down my magnet and let's say I needed this to be here because I want it there every time. So I'm going to take this guy and just put it right down over this. You're going to push down and that's going to get your, your, um, 
clear stamp stuck to your uh, precision plate or to the acrylic block, acrylic plate, whatever you want to call it. Where is that ink I used? What I'm going to do right now is just show you that. Let's say I want to stamp it back in the same spot and let's see how accurate it gets, okay? So I'm just going to put some ink on this thing. Sorry, making a lot of noises. And I can already tell this one's going to be a tough one to ink up anyway, so I probably will have to do it a couple times. Okay. So I'm going to sit it down, push down, and I'm just kind of squeezing. I'm not really squeezing the edges. I'm just kind of doing this kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to pick it up. And I did miss some little areas over here. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I'll get a little bit closer because this time what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do it again. And I'm going to try to give it some give. As you can see, these little things, like I said, there is a little bit of movement. But maybe once you get down to a certain depth, it won't move as much. I don't know. So there's that. I'm going to ink it up again. And I really want to focus on the little pyroline over here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to not get this right. I'm going to try to move it a little bit and see if that does anything. It might still be right. And say, I did try to like move it to the left with this little precision peg stuff. And it did move. <laughs> Hopefully you can kind of see that. See how thick it is? It's not horrible. It doesn't look... Well, it does. If you look at that up close, you can see that there's like a double stamping to it. Oh, I'll hold it here over that lighting. Hopefully you can see that. So what's the point, right? Because what you're supposed to do with this, the point is that it's precision, that you're going to stamp in the same spot every time when you go back. Because whenever I've used any of my other stamping tools, you just pick it up. If you didn't get it right, ink it up, slap it back down. And there's no like, oh, let me put this down carefully, make sure, you know, so that's kind of a bummer. I mean, that was like double vision and I have bad eyes, so <laughs> that should tell you something. But let me put this over here and we'll try... Uh, should I dare try some of their layered stamps? Let me see what we got here. I don't really have a lot of colors in front of me and I really don't even feel like doing this. So let's just see what we can do. I'm going to take off this little guy. It's super adorable. Um, let's see. So there's a couple different stamp sets here. This is funny. They use the same carrier sheet to hold that back. Does that make sense? The one in between? I guess it's smart instead of doing a couple. So what I'm trying to say is there's a background on here for sure. As you can see this, the guy is cut out of there. So let me grab a few colors. I guess we'll make this actually try and work to see how cute we can make it. So I would put this guy right here. Oops, let's put our little magnet. Let's just play. We put him there, okay? And I'm going to pick it up. And let me go get some blue ink and some other colors. Okay, I'll so I just picked some Christmassy colors. This is Juniper for that background. We'll see how good this comes out the first time because I've never used this stamp. And a lot of times when stamps are kind of flat like that or like full of color, it's not the easiest thing to use. So let's just turn that over right quick. I can see it's already beating up. That's okay. We're not going to... Well, maybe it's good to know about the stamp's quality, but... Okay, so there's the background. And again, you see it's not that great, so maybe... I should try it out again. Let's ink this up a little better. This time I'm being more careful. I wasn't trying to move it on purpose, but again, it still missed that corner. Let's do that again. Uh, maybe it's because of this magnet over here. You know what I'm saying? This is way thinner than that magnet, which is weird because it comes from their own stamps. <laughs> okay, we are memory keepers and the stamp is too thin. Anyway, all right, so we have that one. Let's... Now, I don't know if I should go with the black one next, like the outline. You think you would go with the colors next. I think that's what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to do the little... And that's why it's a full stamp. Like, there's no reason for this to be a full plastic, you know, acrylic there. But I guess the reason is so you can just go in and you don't have to worry about what to do next. So I'm going to pick that up and let's give him a green scarf, there's New England Ivy, and then I'm going to give him a red hat and then black outline, okay? So let's do this, Oh, this is not going to look very good either. Again, I would stamp it off until it's ready to stamp, but since we're just trying this out, I'm not really caring about that. There's his little green, Ugh. and then I got green <laughs> ink. This is getting rough. And you guys know I'm not... Obviously, I've been stamping and doing stuff for years. This is crazy. I mean, hello, I sell stamps. So, 
Okay, well, there's that one. I think I'm probably going to be returning this, and I hope I bought this in October. I don't think I... I might have bought it in, like, June or July when they do their Christmas thing. Ugh, that would be a bummer. So let me see here. Pick this up. I'm going to try to do this a little bit neater. Anyway, what I mean is stamping off is like you would do this, stamp it off, stamp it off until you get a good red impression or a nice impression, you know. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. That red is clinging a little nicer. There's the red. And the last thing we need is the outline. This is such a bummer. I have a few things to return to them too, so I'll try to get that going. I'll have to give them a call because they're on different uh, invoices. All right. The last one is this little guy. I'll get that black. The reason I'm kind of scrubbing it too is because I'm not um, stamping it off. So I just want to kind of get that tacky layer that's usually on top of stamps off. That's really cute. It's a cute image. <laughs> so make sure we stamp them everywhere. And that's using that spongy bottom, eh? That thing is still there. So there it is. I mean, it's cute. You know, that green got kind of messed up. And it's not like it's super um, particular where you stamp. Obviously, you see this is way in here and the white around it. That's pretty good though. As far as the lines, as you can see that, it hit that scarf, it hit the hat perfectly. So maybe it's just something you gotta work with. You know, maybe I'm just being a little picky here, but <laughs> it, you know, for the amount of money, I think it was 50 bucks for this set. Um, you know, I don't know what they, maybe they're gonna charge 30 for just the precision, what? Precision press advanced. But um, you know, it's there, it, you know, it's something to work with, try out. I wanna try out for you guys. So I, I don't really have any feelings like, super great feelings about it. I probably will end up returning it, but I did want to try it out for you guys and thanks for watching and um, rock a block. So, you know, if you're into that, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if, if you remember to rock it when you go to stamp or how you feel about that, or if you feel that it warps your images at all. I mean, it looks fine, but who knows? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like when you go to cut it out, maybe it's a little, I always feel like when you're going like this, that's changing it in a way, but I guess it's not, cause it's not like the harshest curve. Sorry, these things make a noise when you pop. And I'm saying the curve isn't like so ridiculous that you're really warping the image, but I feel like if you're doing this, then you go to cut it out, maybe it's slightly different. I don't know. I guess I could try that out next time. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.